I'm C Train here at the station, and hey, I think it's a little time to talk some NFL football. Those faithful to the Bear, the San Francisco 49ers have a game against the Arizona Cardinals, and hey, this one could be a little bit tricky, so let's talk about it a little bit, okay? Number one, it's gonna be hot. It's supposed to be like night in the 90s, okay? Will that heat have a factor? It will be midday. I do not think it will cool down. Um, will that heat factor in? And honestly, this sounds like, is that to the Arizona Cardinals advantage, honestly? Anyways, that's something to think about. It's the small things, right? Sometimes the small things add up. Sometimes, hopefully, it just doesn't matter and the Niners win anyway, right? Okay, so the Cardinals, though, they can be tricky. They can be very tricky, and here's why. Number one, Kyler Murray. The, the Niners, it's... Those mobile quarterbacks can be difficult to match up with because you never know when they're going to take off. They can create broken plays. They can make things happen off of those broken plays that, that other quarterbacks can't and that you can't script, right? So when a quarterback like Kyler Murray goes off script, um, it can be tough if you're not used to it. In a, right? Because Kyler Murray's used to sort of that whirling dervish type of player. But if you're not used to defending it as much, okay, it can be difficult. So the, the Niners can't let Kyler Murray beat them with his legs. He's averaged over 10 yards a carry too, right? So, okay, four rushes for 35 yards, allowable okay allowable four rushes for 75 to 80 yards for kyler murray we can't have that right so if we're talking about like kyler murray is scrambling for five to seven yard gains okay you take that and you hope that you lay a big hit on him honestly okay but if he's breaking it down for 30 35 yards then we're we're talking about are there cover like Who's watching him? Who's spying him? What are the assignments on the Niners' defense? If the Niners' defense can stay home, they got a great chance. They, I mean, they, they should dominate, honestly. But here's another thing. James freaking Connor, that running back for Arizona, it seems like he always has a little bit extra for the Niners. Either that or the dude, the dude is just, he is a very physical running back. And he has at times posed problems for the Niners because he's just so direct. You have to meet James Connor with, with Connor Connors with with force. He's a player that that you must meet with force, and the Niners have to be down to do that tomorrow. Okay, they have to be down to solidly tackle. I know this is so funny. I was thinking about this breakdown and what I was going to say for this for this breakdown against the Arizona Cardinals. And it is like exactly like what former New England coach Bill Belichick always says and says. He's like, oh, if your team tackles the best, it's really just down to which team tackles the best. That's it. Honestly, in this game, the sure tackling of players like, like James Connors, like Kyler Murray, and Marvin Harrison Jr. You tackle those guys nice and solid. You, you don't let them get big big runs after contact, big yak. And I think that the Niners have a huge, I mean, can, can really run away with this. But, but here's, the, here's the thing too, with Marvin Harrison Jr. Okay, it's okay to let Marvin, Marvin Harrison Jr. is a dynamic prospect. He's got all the measurables, right? And he's, he's produced a little bit so far still. He's got like 260 or something like that uh, receiving yards on the year. So he's dangerous, and the Niners need to treat him like he is a dangerous and extremely talented, like the talented wide receiver he is. But here's the thing. A Kyler Murray to Marvin Harrison Jr., 35-yard play off of a broken play. Okay, okay. A uh, ten yards, a uh, ten yards, and then to Harrison, say like he does a little, a little curl for ten yards. Get seven after that. Okay, seventeen total. Okay. If Marvin Harrison Jr. though is getting 
two receptions for 90 yards, that's when you look out. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. If it's those times where, where Marvin Harrison Jr. is, if it's four catches for, for 140 yards, then you might be in trouble if you're the Niners. I don't think that's going to happen. I think the Niners, I think, I hope that they're really starting to get that running game on. Now we're going to flip to the Niners' offensive goals. I, I really hope that they can just solidify that running game. Kittle's going to be there. I hope they can run behind that offensive line. The left side's doing really well this year. And also Dominic Pooney at that right guard position. I'm, I'm digging how he's playing. I think the Niners can establish that running game early. And then what I hope to do, or I hope the Niners play off of that running game, get some easy, easy targets to players like Ayuk and Debo in space. And I think that establishing the running game will create that space for players via play action just because you'll be more focused in on the run if you're the Arizona Cardinals defense. One thing that the Niners must do, though, Brock Purdy must respect Buda Baker. They got a pretty good safety combination. I've, the other Arizona safety isn't coming to my uh, isn't coming to me right now, but th they have a good safety combination. So Brock Purdy must mind Buda Baker. Don't let him destroy your whole game plan or anything like that. Okay. So another thing is when Purdy when the play breaks down, I I would love to see Brock Purdy run. I like it when he runs. That's awesome. A mobile quarterback's great, especially when he gets like third down conversions that, that Brock Purdy gets with his legs are amazing. That is just like the cherry on top. However, we need pu fewer broken plays with Brock Purdy. We can't see, he's getting, he, you can't see Brock Purdy just scrambling around for 15 seconds at a time. It's, it's not repeatable for success. It is something that he can do once in a blue moon for success, but it is not repeatable process for success, okay? So if, if Brock Purdy gets moving, I really hope that they do it off of a play action and you can move the puck a little bit. That's great. Give him access to run as well. Pick up a couple yard, yards with his legs, with his feet. Maybe not as much broken play, him run all over the place. You never know when a defender's just gonna come flying in there because, because there's not... When Brock Purdy breaks breaks the pocket, there's not a pocket of protection. When you are outside of that protective pocket, you are game, okay? So, what do I think? What do I think? How do I think the Niners are going to fare? All these NFC West games are, are sort of difficult, okay? Like, it's... It's never easy when you know the other team so well. These players play against each other multiple times a year, right? They, they know each other. I still think the Niners are going to come out on top. And I don't, I think that the Niners can really take command of this game with a powerful running game early. And I think that if the Niners come out strong, come out hot, this can, they can end this earlier, sooner rather than later. However, if the Niners don't come out strong, they will be in for it. My final score prediction, the Niners win against the, the Niners beat the Arizona Cardinals 34-20. One more time. The San Francisco 49ers beat the Arizona Cardinals to the score, to the tune of 34-20. to Okay, I got my prediction. What is your prediction though? I wanna know your prediction down low in the comments. Do the like thing and subscribe. What's your score prediction for this game, though? Also, what? Oh, gosh, yeah. I, I think that's all that we got going on. I wanted, oh, yeah, of course. That's what I was about to say. If you give your score prediction down low in the comments and you're right, you're correct, um, or you're, you're more correct than I am, you're closer than I am, you'll definitely get a shout out in the, in the following week's wrap up show. And also, if I ever do a drawing for something, you will be in the drawing. If there's ever a C-Train station drawing for prizes or something like that, you will be entered if you get the score closest to the actual score, your prediction. Let me know what your prediction is down low. See you next time at C-Train station. Enjoy the game.